Why he doesn't text back. In this video, I'm gonna tell you the truth about why guys don't text back or take forever to text back and what to do about it. It's Sabrina, your personal love advisor from A New Mode, the channel where we show you how love actually works. Why is he taking so long to text back? Why haven't I heard from him today? Isn't he thinking about me? Why are his answers so short and vague? Is he losing interest? Why did he start a conversation with me and then disappear? I've been getting variations of these questions in my inbox for the last 10 years. This is a really big topic and a really big source of confusion for so many women. There is a lot of bad texting advice out there. They'll give you scripts about what to say and what not to say and when to say it. But what happens after? They don't give you any real insight about what inspires a man to text or de-inspires a man to text, if that's a word. They don't really give you any real insight. So knowing what to say isn't really gonna help you. I'm gonna tell you why guys don't text back while giving you insight into male psychology so that you truly understand what's going on and know exactly how to handle it when he isn't texting you back. So make sure you watch this video until the end. Real quick, if you like this video and find it helpful, please give it a like and be sure to subscribe to my channel, ring the bell so you get notified when I post new videos and follow me on Instagram for more relationship content at a new mode. And if you really wanna understand what goes on in a man's mind, I have very good news. I wrote a book on exactly that and I wrote it with a man. So don't come at me like, well, you're a woman, what do you know, okay? I've interviewed countless men and I wrote this book with a man. It is called He's Not That Complicated. You can get it at he'snotthatcomplicated.com. We have an entire chapter, I think, just devoted to texting and we basically answer every single question that women have about why men act the way they do. And as the title goes, it's really not that complicated. So definitely check that out if you have many more questions about why men behave the way they do. All right, let's get into it. Why are men such terrible texters? Well, number one, most men are not good at multitasking. The simplest answer comes down to the fact that most men are not good at multitasking as women are. Men typically get absorbed by whatever task is at hand, whereas women are a lot more fluid and can kind of flow in and out. She can be at work while texting, while shopping online, while ordering the groceries. Most women are like this, most men are not. Also, many studies have shown that women primarily gain their sense of worth through their interpersonal relationships, while men gain their sense of worth and their, their self-esteem through their ability to have an impact on the world. Now, this explains a lot in terms of how we approach relationships. A woman's head is almost always in the relationship, even when she's doing other things and doing them well, whereas a man can get much more fixed and locked in on whatever he's doing. Because for him, his mission in life, which essentially is his ability to make an impact on the world, is the most important thing to him. Now, you might be wondering, but why did he text me so much in the beginning? It's because most men are goal-oriented. In the beginning, his goal was to win you over. So texting served a real purpose and function because he was trying to win you over. It's not sustainable to be texting all day. So you can't expect his experience of the relationship to be like yours and for his wants to be like yours. So it might feel good to you to hear from him throughout the day, just you know, have him texting you all day because that makes you feel good, but that's a nuisance to him. That doesn't feel good to him. That becomes a burden to him. And once he feels that pressure, like he has to text, it's no longer enjoyable. It's no longer something that he wants to do. So it's really important to understand things from his perspective. And his perspective is often that he, his head can't be in a hundred places at once. His head is usually in one spot at one time. So if he's at work, then he's at work and he's not thinking of, the, of you and he's not thinking of the relationship and there's nothing to get offended about there. It's not a, such a big deal. It's just the way that men operate. Number two, men communicate differently than women do. Men don't usually talk for the sake of building connection. They usually talk for the sake of achieving a purpose or achieving a goal. A woman might get upset if she's having cute, flirty, back and forth banter with a guy and then he suddenly stops responding because to her, that flirty banter is a way of building a connection. But to a guy, okay, we're just going back and forth. Nothing's happening here. We're not making a plan. There is no action step. So there's not necessarily a need to respond. So the way he sees it, okay, the conversation is not moving any further and that's it. Whereas she is like pouting on the other end because she's like, wait, he didn't find that last thing I said cute. Like, why isn't he answering? Should I send him something else? And she's all distraught and she's obsessing over it. Meanwhile, he's going about his day and he doesn't even realize that anything's wrong. Number three, he's just not that into you. Okay, so this is what trips a lot of women up. You meet a guy, he gets your number, or maybe you meet over an app, maybe you meet in person. You're texting, you're texting, things are going great, and then all of a sudden it kind of stops. Or maybe you've even gone on a few dates and you were getting your hopes up, you thought everything was going well. The texts kind of dwindle, but you hear from him sometimes. 
or when you reach out to him, he always responds and he's always really nice when he responds. So you have no idea where, what's going on. And in your mind, you're thinking, why are guys such terrible texters? This doesn't make sense. Some days he responds, some days he doesn't. And also it's important to put things in context. So he's acting like that through text. And he's also like acting like that in real life. Like sometimes you see him a lot and he's all in. Other times he vanishes for like weeks at a time. That's a sign of a guy who maybe likes you, but doesn't like you enough. That, those are the classic mixed messages that women get so confused about. Mixed messages is really one message. He's just not that into you. He likes you a little bit. He's attracted to you. He enjoys your company. He maybe enjoys hooking up with you, but he just doesn't see you as someone he has relationship potential with. So that's why he's kind of in and he's out and you're just so confused and he's so flaky. The number one way to know if a guy likes you is that he is consistent. He, consi he is a consistent presence in your life. If he's in and he's out and he's all in one week and he's out the next and you just have no idea what's going on, it's just a sign that he's just not serious about you. I have a lot of content on how to know if a guy likes you, but I'm just gonna give you a quick Cliff Notes version right here. When a guy likes you, it's obvious. He won't leave you hanging. His answers won't be vague and unclear. He's not gonna let your relationship status remain undefined. And he's not gonna disappear and risk losing you to some other guy. And if a guy likes you and you send him a text, he's gonna be excited by that and wanna to respond to it. He won't glance at his phone, think, oh, I'm not in the mood to deal with her right now. I'll just answer this later and then like forget to get back to you for a day or two. And above all, when a guy likes you, you will not have to text him to remind him that you exist. He will always be aware of your existence. Number four, he's busy. Sometimes the simplest explanation is the correct one. If he's not answering you, it's probably because he's busy. You are not the sole center of his universe. And that's a good thing. That's a healthy thing. You shouldn't be the center of his universe. Just because you're alone and bored doesn't mean that he is. Just because you check your phone 45 times per minute doesn't mean that he does the same thing. And like I said earlier, sometimes guys just get absorbed in other things. And a lot of the times guys put their phone on silent when they're working or when they're doing something important because they don't want to be distracted. Sometimes texts just don't go through or they take a while to go through. Either way, it's just an unrealistic expectation to just think that his head is exactly in the same place as yours, that you're in the mood to text, you wanna hear from him and that he should be feeling the same way. People have lives. And if you don't have a life and all you're doing is waiting for a guy to text you back, then I highly suggest you go out and get a life and fill your life with things that, that energize you and make you happy and make you feel fulfilled so that you're not spending so much time just waiting for a guy to text you back. Okay, so what should you do when a guy is not texting you back? First and foremost, don't panic. Just assume that he's doing other things and that's that. Don't panic that he's losing interest, that he's gonna leave, that he's with another girl. It's just not helpful to you. If he hasn't texted you back, it's most likely for one of the four reasons I gave you in this video. One thing you definitely should not do is blow up his phone with, hello, are you there? I know you're on your phone because I saw that you posted something on Instagram. This will just make you look desperate and crazy and you definitely do not want to go out like that. And if you do send him these follow-up texts and he still doesn't respond, then I would assume that he is just not into you and you should move Move on and just cut this guy out. So why is this all so hard? Why is this such a big issue? Do you guys know, here's some trivia, that a new mode was essentially started on this question. Originally, when I started a new mode, it was a fashion and beauty site. And our first question was about why don't guys text back? Why do they take forever to text back? And that article blew up and it made us realize, wow, there is really a need for quality relationship advice out there. And the whole site shifted to be more about dating and relationships. So we're really built on this question because it causes so much confusion and so much pain for so many women. But why is that? At the heart of it, it's rooted in fear. It's not about the texting. It's about what you interpret the texting to mean. And to you, it means that he's losing interest. And if we go beyond that, to you, it might mean that you're unworthy, you're unlovable, there's something wrong with you. You're never gonna get a guy. The guys that you like are never gonna like you back. When we have a fear or belief within us, the subconscious mind is always gonna look to prove itself right. This is something I talk about a lot in this channel. So if you're afraid that a guy's gonna lose interest and leave you, anytime he doesn't text you back, you're gonna just assume that he's losing interest because your mind is already primed to think that that's what's gonna happen. So you're not just gonna say, oh, he's probably busy, whatever. And I'm assuming that if your girlfriend, if you text your friend, she doesn't text you back for a while, you don't think, oh my God, she doesn't want to be friends with me anymore. What do I do? What did I do wrong? And you're not going to reread your last text to her. You're just going to think, oh, she's busy.
busy. She'll get back to me later. So if you already have this belief, you have the belief that all guys are going to leave you and lose interest, then everything can be interpreted as being a bad sign. If he doesn't get back to you, it means he's losing interest or it means he's texting some other girl. It doesn't mean that he's busy and he left his phone in the other room. No, no, it can't mean that. It has to mean something negative about you. The fact is we create our own stories about what things mean. So you really have to look at what you already believe to be true and be honest with yourself. Do you believe that you are worthy of attracting a great, amazing guy? Do you believe that the guys that you like will like you back? Do you believe that you can and will have an amazing, mutual, happy relationship? Or do you believe that something like that will never happen for you? That's really what's at the heart of it. And that's why it makes you feel like sick and nauseous when you don't hear back from a guy that you really like. It's not about the guy and it's not about the text. It's the meaning that you are attaching to him and to his texting behavior and what that says about you. You. That's what causes all that pain and all those intense feelings. Above all, you have to stop with the worry and the obsessing. Most guys do not realize what a big deal this texting thing is to most women. I know this because I've interviewed so many men and they all, when I ask them about the texting things, they're like, do girls really feel this way? Do girls really act like that when a guy doesn't text back? Like really, seriously? Guys have no idea how much this means to you. It really is so meaningless to measure the quality of your relationship based on the quantity of text exchange on a given day. You measure the quality of a relationship based on the quality of the time that you spend with that other person. You can be texting nonsense to a guy all day, just, you know, nonsense flirty banter. You can have another guy who's not a good texter, but when you're with him, he's locked in, he's engaged, he's really connecting to you. He's really trying to get to know you. That means so much more than a guy who's just texting nonsense all day. It's important to get your head in the right place. And above all, the most important attitude to have is I will be okay no matter what. All right, if this guy doesn't text me back, if he ghosts me, if he loses interest, that's fine. It just means he wasn't the right guy for me. And that's not a big deal because not everyone is a match. What did you think of this list? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you think there are other reasons guys don't text back? Please share your thoughts in the comment section. For more on this topic, check out the full article. I will link it down below. Follow me on Instagram. Instagram at a new mode. And if you want to know exactly what goes on in the male mind, then definitely check out our book. He's not that complicated. It comes with all sorts of bonuses and an audio program. It's like a whole system. And basically after that, you will understand men better than they understand themselves. So you can get it at he's not that complicated.com. And I will see you in the next video.